Every guitar seems to have a different soul in it. The first few Tesla albums were recorded in New York, and I used to go down to 48th Street, and there was a vintage guitar shop there called We Buy Guitars, but they had all these beautiful vintage guitars there, and I used to drool over a cherry sunburst 70s dove that was in the window. Finally, I was able to save up enough uh, per diems to get it, and uh, it was a 76 cherry sunburst that looked a lot like this one. I always really loved the ornate artwork and stuff of it, but it wasn't until I actually played the 76 dub that I got my hands on that I fell in love with the tone. I recognized that the maple really had a bright sound for picking, and uh, it inspired a lot of songs for me. You can play really soft on it. Like, my love song intro is really soft. Just finger picking style, but the dove really projects the notes. The intro to Love Song actually came by accident. Um, that little part there was actually a, a B section to a, another part that was harder to play that I still can't really play to this day. It's kind of a finger picking thing like a. A lot more like finger picking stuff, which I'm surprised I just played it right now because I've never been able to play it right. I got so frustrated in the studio trying to play that hard part that I finally said, you know what, stop the tape, let's start over again. And I scratched the hard part and I just recorded the easy part. And I, I've since learned that usually easier is better. <laughs> First time I ever heard it on the radio was a very special moment, you know, and when you hear a song that you worked on in the garage or in, in the rehearsal room with your band and then you finally hear it on the radio, that's a real thrill. Having this new version of my original 76 Dove, it's like being reunited with my old friend again. And uh, it's even sweeter now because I got to put in some input on the creation, taking it a step further from my original 76 uh, we have used the thermally aged spruce top, and we're picking the finest flame maple for the sides and the back. Every detail makes a difference. I mean, you know that it's all about the details, and every little detail has been considered on this, um, including the, the thickness of the rosewood here going down into the top. This bridge being carved right here brings it down to the body, and that is the original 70s Batwing style. And so that is what makes this guitar unique as well. Along with my own personalized love <laughs> writing right there. I practiced that. I did practice writing love a few times because I wanted it to be just right. I don't have the best handwriting in the world, but I think it came out pretty good. <laughs> I hope people are inspired by the tone of it and will enjoy picking notes and writing songs and uh, feeling the love that went into it. You know, the, the love name on the dove is so appropriate. I've always loved and been a fan of Gibson guitars my whole career and my whole life as a kid. Um, this is actually my first signature guitar in my whole 35 year career. So for it to be on an acoustic, and especially a Gibson acoustic, I'm just blown away. It feels like a dream come true.